Previously on Raveheart, the Draconian sent Chad to an underground prison, where Prince Eren gloated about betraying the Rave family. Fortunately, Chad managed to break out with the help of Milo. As for Klein's party, they had to go on, uh, to an abandoned lab in order to look for solar batteries, and they recruited a draconian granian hybrid, Zazir, to join them. Now they have to find Motobike to get the Granian scientists to decipher the side drive, but the Star Raider, Sharky, monopolized most of the mineral in order to simp for Veronica. Um... Klein, is there a place around here we can rest first? Zazir wishes to take a break too. If you say so, let's head to the hotel and avail a room for ourselves. Thank you. So, we must remain cautious around here. Let's go. Hey you, give me your iron and nobody gets hurt. Wrong move. Huh, why you? Already we got into a fight. Damn. Hmm. Inversion Parasite. Let's just do, do a physical attack on the thug. Bionics. I have to use Ruin to deal with this parasite here. Didn't kill in one hit, even with my updated gear. Charge swing. And level up. Star Raider badge, tech bits, parasite goo. Ugh. Let's just say sharp. No snooping around beyond this area if you don't want any trouble. Ever since the global catastrophe happened 50 years ago, Cardell has, has now become a dead planet ruled by terrorists like the Star Raiders. I doubt the ruler of Sector 3 still even cares about Cardell anymore. Oh, visitors, yay! I hope you enjoy your stay here. We're kidnapping, murder, and stealing are the norms. Is Cardell really that bad? Yeah, it'll only get worse each day. I'm very sorry you all have to suffer like this. Suffer? That's where you're wrong, honey. Most of us here have started treating life like a survival thriller game. At least we can attest our newly learned hexes and curses anytime and anywhere. Survival of the fittest, huh? Huh? You're definitely gonna get it for trespassing. And you have some treasure that I might want to steal. This better be worth it. Password? Uh, never mind. Even on this type of planet, there's a learnatorium, huh? It's quite a shame what happened to the royal engagement. I just wonder where the High King's family is right now. You're an Aaron, aren't you? I just finally dressed about that. Oh, we're just travelers who happen to look, be looking for some place in Cardell. Oh, I see. Don't let these old bones bother you, then. You're gonna to totally report us. The incident in the Grand Tower has truly devastated us all. It has struck the High King's soul as unresolved issues with the people at, of Sector 1. It's all very unexpected from a good man like him. The Galactic Council is still investigating the case of Arcturo Raven and his family's disappearance after a troubled incident on Era. Will Arcturo ever regain his title as High King, or will he forever spend his entire life under the Galactic Council's watch? Hmm. Global catastrophe happened 50 years ago, and Cardell has really given away a bad business. Now everyone thinks illegal drugs like Andromeda's Kiss runs this planet. What's worse is that the Farian community has started re relying heavily on Texas, uh, hexes and curses to survive. Hmm. Oh, here's a healing point. Okay, but I probably don't want to enter that building yet. Spock's empty beer balls. Balls of ale? Life here is already hard as it is. I hope you don't plan on contributing more to it, punks. How what do you want? There's a... A nerd astral point. That's gonna be pretty difficult, probably. I think there are five items I need to find this time. I'll be quick. I wish they kept, ca uh, uh, like, a list of how many items you could find in each astral zone. Oh, it's c a little distracting with all these other people around, too. Boss, sir. What's the code? Ow. Idiot. I can't believe you forgot. Okay. Listen well, I'm just gonna say it to you once. Oh wait, the enemy stopped moving? Okay, good. Booty be mine is the code. 
Will you be mine? Got it. Good, now get out of my sight, you worm. Okay, will you be mine is the correct answer. And... Okay, now they're moving again. Fuck. I don't have time because... Yeah, they're re not very consistent about which dialogue lets the enemy move and which one does it. Ah! Get away from me, you fiends. They, re they really need to change the sprites for the items you can pick up from Astral Mode. They blend in too well with all the various light fixtures in the area. That's... How many so far? Back in my days, this building used to be a bank. Now it's a place to stay for those of us who have no luck in this dark world. Tech Grenade. I'm gonna burn my bully alive with my newly learned hex. Yep, yep, pretty much what every boy or age should be focusing on. Here buy my cheap perfumes? Uh huh. No, like, time is too precious for us to spend an hour unconscious. Wait. How'd you. Self service gasoline station. Yeah, I love this stuff. You got some more pipe load? And those goody Galactic Council links and drama those kiss should be illegal. Ha, huh, they can kiss my milky. Uh, way. Random graffiti. I can't even go out of this town without a single Star Raider terrorist hitting on me. Ions. Small shield. I may not look like much right now, but I can spawn a double in front of you right now if you try something funny. Sounds good. Eh? Never mind. Was he bluffing? Hmm. Necro's beads. Club. Hey there, Kitty. Will you like a uh, massage and many more? VIP members only beyond this point. Nothing useful here, I guess. Diner. Potato chips and space soda. I'm going to practice my hex first by reviving dead chickens. How's that sound? He scares me too, Zazir. Oh, errands. Most of the foods in our menu are meat. Animal. Meat. <laughs> Huff. She can sense their emotions even when they're already dead? It's like animal ghosts are hunting the meat? Elamine, are you okay? Let's get you out of here, fast. Well, if you don't like the meat, you don't have to eat them. Okay, nothing to do but continue the story. Hotel. Go upstairs first. Maybe there, I can steal stuff. Rare medicine. We're using hospital beds. Now this is what I call a five-star hotel. I hate resorting to the violence, but those fucked outside forced my hand. Hmm, a lot of, a lot of grammar mistakes, huh? You might need someone to proofread this at some point. May I help you? We'd like to have one room, please. One room it is, son. Enjoy your stay. Meanwhile... Sector 2 Planet Virgil. Dorado Coliseum. Captured again. Hey, let go of me! Be quiet, punk. Lord Dorado owns you now. Lord Dorado? Yeah, better do what you're told if you don't want to get hurt. Already dressed like medieval knights. No way. Now get inside. Ow. Why you? Yippee, finally a partner, meow. Partner? Just get inside quickly. This is so not my lucky day. Damn it. When will people ever stop throwing me inside prison cells? See, I can finally find the arena, meow. Huh? Okay, can I get some answers first? Who are you and what do you mean by fighting in an arena? Also, why are you so excited? We're in prison here, after all. My name is Sol, I'm currently on my calling, meow. It's always been my dream to test my skills, meow. Here in Dorado, warriors are required to fight by pairs inside the arena. Cool. Anyway, my name's Chad. So you're on your calling, huh? Isn't the point of calling to travel the whole galaxy freely? I mean, I'm sorry, but this place doesn't scream free to me. That's because I volunteer to be here. 
That's... wow. Now that I have a partner, I can finally take part in Battles of the Arena. Sorry, Solo, but I have places I to be. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. You should also be doing the same. No, Chad Meow, this is my opportunity to show them my fighting skills. What if I told you that we can earn our freedom by defeating the champion at the arena, Meow? The rewards too, he... No, thanks. Please, Chad, pretty please. You can give me puppy uh, uh, eyes looks like all means I'd say yes. Sadly, you're a kitten. I hate you, Meow. Aha, uh -huh. just kidding. Sai, so how do we defeat the champion? Yippee! Don't worry, the champion won't stand a chance, see, Meow? If you say so. I'm gonna need a, a, some equipment upgrades. You two, follow me. Lord Dorado wishes to see you. Yippee! At least it's her lucky day. Wonderful. Great job in getting your Kunian friend a playmate. We're glad to oblige, my lord. Now, I suppose you have learned your lesson in trespassing, Chad Zephyr. I don't care who or what you are. If you're a criminal, you're f then you're fighting in the arena for my people's entertainment. Trespassing? Are you kidding me? I was just passing through. I wasn't even close to the planet's orbit. Besides, if I really did trespass, I don't think that throwing me on a death arena is a bit ex too extreme. Nothing so extreme in my book. Come on, let's get to the fighting, Meow. I admire the Kunian girl's spirit. Sai, if we defeat a champion, we'll be rewarded with our freedom, right? Yes, of course. You'll also be rewarded with wonderful gifts. Wonderful gifts, eh? Huh? Anyway, arena's rules are simple. You both will be fighting your way through five other pairs of warriors. After that, you'll then be able to fight a champion. Once you defeat a champion, you're given the choice to either stay and become a new champion or leave and gain your freedom. I guess that sounds simple enough. I'm very excited to fight a champion, Meow. Well, carry on then. Feel free to prepare yourself first before entering the arena. Don't mind if we do. Let's go, T. So let's join the party. What do you want? Can you see I'm busy here? Mm. No one's laying a finger on Lord Dorado under my watch. Get prepared if you wish. The arena awaits you. Can't wait to crush swings at the arena. You guys are kind of used to this, aren't you? Crush. Okay, okay, we get it. Nobody's disagreeing with you. Why do I have to be stuck with a lazy and confident partner like you? Uh, yup. Granian prisoner. I want to shoot something. Aaron child prisoner. A child, what the? Don't underestimate me, big guy. Dang. She can shoot all right, meow. Hee hee. So mocking prisoner. My blade shall paint the blood of my enemies, meow. See you on the arena. He, ha ha. Is this every day thing to you, Kuni, and slaughtering people uh, while being imprisoned on a faraway planet? Testing your skills in the combat is a fun thing. Gotcha. How the interest in some suits and weapons? Careful in dealing with the champion. Well, if you're lucky enough to reach him, that is. I'm gonna make him taste the glory of my guns. See, he, cocky, huh? Okay. If only to give me hints about the the champion's move set. There's the money. Well, I should be able to hopefully buy enough equipment. It's gonna be very entertaining watching you prisoners get pitted against each other from up here. Are you always so sadistic? Dang. I'm judging by your looks. I don't think you'll be able to get out of the arena alive. That's not very reassuring. All right, let's see if these two can actually handle it without a healer. Door behind me leads to the arena. You're given the chance to rest and gear up after every two rounds. Are you ready? Yes. Let's see. Yes, we're ready. Good. Get ready for battle. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally chosen our fighters for tonight's show. For our first fighter, we have a human and a kitty. Nice introduction. Kitty, now I'll show them. Now for a second pair. Varian and his pet parasite. Oh no, do we have a... T we, we can do tech damage, right? I guess it's just, just his habit. Let me at him. Think you're strong, huh? We're ready when you are. Very well done. Well, the first battle... Begin! Not good. I need to use solar laser on the parasite immediately. Damn it, Chad won't be able to do much of this. Hmm. Backslash on the thug then. Ah, poisoned? Seriously? Laser? Ow. Oh, 
Okay, victory. <laughs> Wonderful. Now let's see if the hu our human cat can handle the second round. Human and robot. It really needs to be more specific with his introductions. You want a piece of meat, boy? Look, this is nothing personal, okay? I'm just warming up. Let the second battle begin. Okay, late tech won't be very useful here. Let's just buff speed. Oh crap, that does cost quite a bit of EP though. Shoot an enemy's weapon. Body slam. Okay, one shot. Nice. Your damage is weak. Wait, it only works for one turn? Oh no, never mind. I, I thought it was ticking down, but it wasn't. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyways. So this normal attack. Shoot you in the face. Haha. Tech bits. How nice, it seems like our human and cat are winning the first two rounds. Or have already won the first two rounds. Break time. Stay tuned for the next round. I'm wishing for more fights. So, recovering ourselves first and making sure we're all geared up isn't such a bad idea, you know? Fine. Yep, full recovery. Good. Let's go for another shot. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to continue the heat. Our human cat is still standing, uh, uh, very determined in battling their way out of the arena. You got that right, grr. Now first round, we have a Kunian Farian. He calls her a Kunian, yet he calls me a cat meow. I hate him. Tell me to eliminate. So unfair, meow. You're gonna get it. Very well then. Let the third battle begin. They're both physical types. What? Oh, come on. Do I have anything to cure? Nano repair is my only way to cure it, huh? Null. Ow. Ah, oh, shit, again? Nope, not gonna work. Haha, hit you even though I was blinded. I'm not even gonna, uh, yeah, I don't think it'll be worth carrying blind at this point. Attack. Okay. I really hope we can buy equipment that lets us resist status effects at some point. Wonderful as always. How about the fourth round? Two Farians. Whoa. Yeah, this should be fun. You look like you're having the time of your life. Let, me, let the fourth battle begin. Very standard mob. They dodged. Only 10 TP for so much EP is seem, does not seem quite fair. Oh shit. Roaming bullets. 
Whoa. Why are they dodging everything? Seriously. Now, there we go. Is her accurate accuracy really bad or something? I didn't notice. Wait. They're still alive. Break time. Stay tuned for a battle with the champion. <laughs> we'll beat your stupid champion, Meow. Yeah. He's gonna start cheating, isn't he? Still up to battle the champion? Yes. Piece of cake, Meow. Good. Get ready for battle. It's, is this a singular person or not? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our human can't fear nothing. Will they be able to handle our champion? Bring it on. There's no turning back now, Meow. Hey, <laughs> determined, are we? We have a robot. A robot? That won't scare me. Destroy my enemies. Whoa. Very well then. Let the battle with the champion begin. Hit weapon. Oh, come on. What a fucking move. Hit armor. If I'm blinded, I'm not even gonna borrow with anything. Roaming bullets. Guard. And normal attack. Oh, come on. Wow. Failed, I'm already blind and I can't get any more blinded. Now, Agile Fighter. Normal attack. Backslash. Oh, nice. Does blind not wear off? Is there like a durability? Uh, is there like a countdown for this or not? Yeah, he lost- okay, we lost a lot of ailments, but that means I'm uh, allowed to use my shit now. Take this, backslash! <laughs> Roaming bullets. There we go. Level up. What? See, piece of cake, Teehee. Hey, show's over. She sure says tee hee a lot. A lot of the NPCs do. Awkward laughing just like in the Trail series, huh? Oh no. Well, as you may have noticed, there was only one champion. Why do you think that is? What do you mean? Aha. Uh -huh. That's because the victorious pair will have to fight each other in order to determine who will claim the prize of either freedom or title. No way. I'm fighting Chatty. Chatty? But seriously, you promised to give us freedom once you defeat the champion. Well, if you both refuse to fight each other, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you both ride yourselves forever. Damn it. Sola. Yes? I see an opening over there. Where's the, where the robot champion came fr from? Let's try to run and fire away through out, uh, out that opening. What do you say? Sounds fun, meow. Okay, three, two, one. You're getting away. Stop them. We're almost there. A, a flaw in their security, huh? Make it fast, chatty meow. I'm working on it. We're gonna go. They're getting away. Shoot, let's go! I wonder if we have to go back there at some point to fight more people. Ha! Huh. We could have done that for earlier, you know. 
Yeah, but if we did, we wouldn't be able to beat their stupid raw champion, Meow. It was all worth it. Ah, I guess you have a point. So where are you headed, Solo? You want to go back to Bismal? Go back home, are you joking, Chatty? I'm coming with you for some more adventures, Meow. Probably part of her calling, right? Adventures, one well, of a dangerous life and death kind of adventure. I'm going to find the Erin Princess and her family. I want to make sure they're okay. They were wrongly accused for an incident at the Grand Tower and are being tormented by both the Draconians and the Princess's jerk traitor brother. Saving a princess, being chased by Draconians, and fighting in a galactic feud. That's exciting. Aha. Uh -huh. If you're so sure about going with me on this mission, then sure, why not? Besides, I could use some help from someone who's good at shooting things. Yippee. Thank you, Chatty. Anyway, we're heading to Sector 4 to look for clues on their whereabouts. Sure thing, Meow. They're not, how, when, how long will it take for them to, the two parties to unite? Meanwhile... We're gonna get attacked in our hotel, aren't we? Planet Cardell. Crasper City. Wales Resto Bar. Oh, just leave me alone, Sharky. No can do, Veronica. Hiccup. I'm gonna marry you someday. I swear all four corners of this galaxy. Yuck. I may not seem like much, but I'm still dreaming for a man who's radiant and wonderful, not just some pig. Aren't you cheeky? Hiccup. You sick pervert, get out of my bar. Oh, but can we? Get. Out. Okay, but you're gonna be my bride someday, and we're gonna be ruling the galaxy together. Here's my wedding gift, I hope that'll change your mind. No, thank you. Don't be shy, darling, here you go. Ugh. Box of Moldavite stones. You didn't even process it. At least process it into a ring or something. Well, whatever, it's more convenient for the party this way because unprocessed multi-device stones are probably easier for the Granians to use. Makes for a better bribe. What an arse. <laughs> hmm, these multi-device stones are pretty expensive. I can sell this for a big price. If I'm getting rid of Sharky's gift, I might as well benefit from it to help this bar's finances. Oh, Veronica. How am I help you, ma'am? Well, do you have another bottle of Black Hall? Just a sec. Hmm. For real, we're out of stock. Like, why didn't Tessa inform me beforehand? Sorry, man, we're out of stock. But I can go get to the general store right now and get some. I see, I understand. Take your time, please. Thanks. By the way, can I see that? Uh, uh, I can see the leader of the store raiders to set his eyes on you, Veronica. He's the one who came up with that stupid password. Booty be mine. That perp Sharky can go shove his wood down the acid likes of Jargon for all I care. Ah, uh, oh, Veronica. Well, I'll be waiting for at our table then. Keep safe. Okay, thanks. Am I playing as Veronica now? Then we go shopping for some drinks. Guess I am. Level 8. Int type. Yeah, mostly ether and healing. Veronica, how's your chat with the boss? Don't ever mention him in front of me. Let's all party like it's the end of the world. Woohoo! Knock yourself out, dear. The world is already ended anyway. We're going on that black call, okay? Jeez, these Star Raiders are always making trouble around here. Why can't you just leave everyone in peace? They're already ruling over the planet. What more could they possibly want? I know, right? Ugh, hiccup. Yeah! You want a drink, babe? Ow! Oh, Veronica, it's you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm this close to casting a hex on you right now. Another one in the can. I wonder how Andromeda's kiss would go uh, with Star Juice. Kinky. Cardell's isn't so bad. Well, here in Crasper City, at least. I have a bad feeling about the current situation of our galaxy. Dude, have you heard that the High King was arrested? No, I'm not a woman of politics, sorry. Hi, Veronica. Wink. Get away from me. Can't wait to try out my new hex on that meddlesome child. Practice safe hex, yeah. Oh, yes. Someone just got murdered. Better get used to it, sweetie. Healing point. Can't believe I'm dealing with those junkies again. Makes me wish I left the uh, uh, life of drug abuse from much earlier. Cradle's become a wasteland, I tell you. Ever since the global catastrophe, I no longer have anything or anyone to live for. What? Ram encounters? Yeah, I'm not fighting all that shit. About RPG Maker X Nice. It got cool features that will allow you to create classics like Last Fantasy 17. Wonderful news. I would love to get my hands on that maker someday. You're cheating. How about you try being me at Caliber of Spirit 8? 
Hey, no fair. I beat you at Ten. Nine. Give me the candy. Have you played Dottie Free? I heard it's better than Leg Heroes of Legend Season Twelve. Legend of Heroes. I'd love to play one of those games someday. Wink. Heh. Gotta okay, see if I can get supplies before continuing the story. Can't seem to get counter hit galactic offensive to work in this computer. I hate it. We're open 24 hours. You can play all your favorite games all night. I mean, how do they make a space pool account? I don't like the new battle system of Last Fantasy 25, meow. Souls are Dark 4 is so fun. It has such challenging and hard boss battles. That I should probably leave alone for a while. Z. What? So sleeping on the wild and guard duty is a no no. I need some more of those stuff. What do you want? You don't have the kiss on bar me. On our trip to your wonderland with those psychedelics. Oh, a chest. First aid kit plus. I hope I can get help in curing my disease soon. My son is still suffering from sickness. Is there anything I can help you with? If you're not a patient or family member of a patient, please refrain from going upstairs. Klein, is that you? Wait, what? Oh no. Oh. When will he come back to us? Is that his mom or something? Or sister? Huh? Crossbar City is the only place that seems relevant here in Cordell. Welcome to the shop. What kind of shop? A learnatorium. Even in this... Uh, p uh, even... Uh, in a busted up place like this, they have learnatoriums. In case you forget any of the lore. Let's see what you can equip. Scroll of Curses? I still remember how I met my husband here. How romantic, where is he now? I burned him alive with my hex right after I caught him having sex with my sister. Very romantic indeed. I'm very tired. Hello, there's this boy I really like, but I don't know how to tell him. Cast a love spell so he works every time. Would you like to stay for tonight? I would love to stay tonight, Wink, but I'm busy. Oh. Z. Any treasures? E for cube plus. You want some in this kiss? Uh, no thank you. What well, pleasant surprise? Let me guess, out of black halls? Yeah, they're just in demand these days. Well, after what happened to Cardell 50 years ago, it's understandable. Like, totally. Sadly, there are Star Raiders making everything worse. That's true. So how many balls would it be? Five for the nicer sh should suffice. Alright then, coming right up. There we go. That'll be 800 uh, Ion. Here you go. Thanks. Come back anytime, Veronica. Totally will. Well, I should head back to the bar now. Didn't actually come out of my real pocket, did it? I wonder what ingredients I should buy for my newly made ritual. Oh no. Huh? Sharky, okay, what kind of games are you trying to play with me this time? Veronica, my beautiful wife to be. Why can't you see that you belong to me? Ew, go fail a poetry somewhere else. You get it, honey? You need a real man like me to shelter you. As if. Just because you're illegally r ruling Cardell doesn't make mean you're entitled to my personal choices, okay? Don't go breaking my heart now, Veronica. I've been pursuing you for months. The thing is, I always get what I want. I know what's best for everybody, and I sure as hell know what's best for my wife to be. My wife to be needs the warmth of my embrace, my loving. Oh, get out of my way, you pervert. I'm busy right now. Sorry, honey, but this is for your own good. You're really asking to be burned alive right now, aren't you? There won't be any hexes this time, love. Boys? What the? Ugh. A silencing curse. T take her to shawl, boys, and gently. I don't want any scratches on my beautiful wife. We'll be having our wedding ceremony at the mothership. Ugh. It's okay, love. I'll take care of you and we'll rule Cardell together. So how was your sleep, Elamine? It was... Okay. Or you meant to say the bed was too dusty and itchy. Oh, so you noticed. Don't worry, this will be the first and last time we're sleeping here. 
How about you, Zazira? Bedbugs didn't bother you. You slept soundly. At least that's something. Well, we need to start packing up for our journey to Crasper City. Have you tried asking some of the people here? Yeah, I did while you were asleep. It doesn't seem like any of them know what happened to the multiple stones. Crasper City should be our only chance then. Exactly. Someone, please help! No one in Crasper City seems to be interested in helping. That's why I'm searching for help here. Elamine. Come on, man. What happened exactly? My boss, Veronica, was kidnapped by the leader of the Star Raiders. Okay, I don't think we should get involved in any of this. Where can we find the Star Raiders? Elamine, we have no time for this. Clay, we can't just leave them be. Elamine, it's the Star Raiders we're talking about here. It's too risky. I overheard some of the minions talking about their leader preparing a wedding ceremony for Veronica at their mothership. Klein. I'm sorry, but what do you suggest we do? Face the Legion of Star Raiders head on with just the three of us? If I can't save a single victim from a corrupted government, then how can I ever save my own family and people from a council that's corrupt? Well, that's a different story, Elamine. No, it's not. We fight for our people, and that includes all the innocent lives outside of Sector 4. Elamine. You're the missing Erin Princess? Oh shit. I am. Why should we trust you? Please, I won't tell anyone, I promise. I just need someone to help my boss. I work at a bar that she's running in Crasper, and I can't afford to lose my job now. And... I'm concerned for her safety too, of course. Ma'am, may I touch your hand? Sure, your highness. Is she lying? She's genuine, Klein. We need to help her save her friend. Thank you. Again, how do you think we should do that, Elamine? Ma'am, can you tell us where Star Raiders' mothership is? It's located just above Crasper City. I can take you guys there. I have a shuttle just waiting outside. How secure is their mothership? To be honest, I think most of the guards that are just slacking around are usually drunk. They're mostly very complacent these days. I mean, then we may have a chance after all. Are you sure about this, Elamine? I am, Klein. Zero is also ready for this. Great, I'll have the shell ready for you as soon as, we, as possible. Thank you, Klein. You're to reclaim your home. It's only right to support you on your decisions. You mean our home. Meanwhile... Noredia? Unknown hideout. What's the news, soldier? Prince Aaron. Well? Queen Lumina. She... She was killed during the pursuit in Orion. What? We didn't mean to harm her. They fought back and we didn't have any choice. Now the princess and her cipher bodyguard are on the loose. So your men... Killed my mother. Prince Aaron, I told you, we didn't have any choice. Trust me, I understand the lack of choices all too well. Mother died. Clay and my sister failed to protect her. This is all Elamine's fault. My dear little sister. You'll pay for taking everything away from me. This wouldn't have happened if you had just... Uh, uh, if you had just uh, uh, sided with us instead of with uh, uh, Estuban. Prince Aaron. What do you want, Reverend? One of the locals in Cardell has sided the Aaron Princess and her bodyguard. They say the two are accompanied by a hybrid creature. Interesting news. See to it that your men surround the planet of Cardell. Have them investigate every city. Very well. Also, the princess and her friends are to be killed in sight. Killed? This is where the good of Xerxes. Fair enough. May the Lord of Divinity bless your, you on your path. Please, remember me with all that. Why does the Lord of Divinity want this? What is this Sergio up to? The strong shall live and the weak shall die. Star Raider Mothership. We're here. This is the Mothership's left wing. Looks like they're really complacent. Exactly. Where do you think Veronica is being held, Tessa? I heard that they have a club inside the Mothership. My best bet is there. Wedding inside club, huh? That's the Star Raiders for you. Let's get going. Okay, you guys go on ahead. I'll stay here inside the shell and be on the lookout. Sure. Not good. We pro Our resources will probably drain really quick if we don't run from everything. I'm only level 8. I don't know if that's enough for such a, a, a place. And I already looped on all my save files. E for cube? Hey, who are you and how you get here? We come in peace. Okay, have a drink then. No, you idiot. They're intruders. I tried. Get them. Yeah. 
Level up. Nothing new learned. I got a little bit of int. Let's tread carefully. Star Raider badge just to sell. A lot of treasure on this first section. First aid kit? Probably make up for the fact that we're kind of stuck here. Emergency kit? Tech grenade. I don't know if there's going to be a shop here. Maybe they'll have a convenient vending machine again. Oh. A lever? It's only flipped once, I see. Huh? Intruders! But that's so many of them! Ridiculous! And no choice but a tank for the turn. Protect her! Speed. There we go. Star Raider badge and Raider keycard. That'll help me explore more. Well, I'm a little wounded. That's not good. Renzovo. Okay, got the keycard and open that door. Nice. Oh, man. Oh hell, there's so many. Strength, that's one. G2, that's two. Ah, that's three. Four. Five, I need one more, but where is it? Damn it, I, they're all crowding in very inconvenient locations. Okay, there's some notes that are left open. It says your password is Sharky123. Some useful information. Yes. Now let's get out of here. I got everything. All six uh, things. Go, go, go! Uh, I won't be able to go back to National State without getting my butt kicked. Because they're just crowding around the orb now. But there should be no need to do so again because I already cleared the entire room. There we go. Or if that, we should have unlocked the door to the north. Solar shield. Alright, I think I have enough levels for this. Carry on, Padre. Okay then. Priest question mark. Mm. It's alright, love. After this banks, the bank ceremony shall make a way to a night you'll never forget. Sharky Hoarder, do you accept Veronica Whale as your wife and love your life? Yes, I do. Veronica Whale, do you accept Sharky Hoarder as your husband and love of your life? Hmm. We'll take that as a yes. Hmm. I'm waiting for it, Padre. Very well then. You may kiss the bride. Huh? Is, it, is this a bad time? Who are you and how you get here? Is Veronica around here somewhere? Her friend is dead worried about her. Hmm. What do you want with my lovely wife? 
I believe you are forcing her to marry you against her will. So? Why do you care, darling? Because what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, just let her go. Ah, oh, don't make me laugh. Let go, my love. Never. Hmph. Hmph. Quick, use a healing item on her. Er, she's muted. Let me help you, ma'am. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of the way. Please, calm down, ma'am. We're here to help. Ugh. Sharky, you psycho. Oh, okay, I swear I'm going to kill you. Whoa, Veronica, baby, calm down. Don't call me baby, you disgusting pig. Now she, that she's free, we'll be taking her back. Excuse me, I don't even know who you are. Why should I trust you? Yeah, I wouldn't trust me either. I love to make this end as peacefully as possible, but you see, I don't like it when people steal my loved ones from me. I'm a jealous guy, after all. Men, kill them and take Veronica back to my loving arms. As if. Listen, I don't know who you guys are, but if you're here to help me, do it. We're right behind you. I'm gonna make you pay for ruining my evening, Sharky. It's a lot of enemies. I have to convert one of you. I don't know, this looks very bad. Shockwave? AoE damage! Got some of them. Blinding Hex seems like a good idea. It failed on the majority of them. Okay, there's still one Charmed Dude. Like, barely any Blinded Dudes, so I'm just gonna attack the non-Blinded Dudes for the... <laughs> yeah, nice! Ow. Okay, now I can just... Man, these guys have such good dodge rates, it's crazy. Tetra. And normal attack. Give me those levels. You still want to try? I'm impressed. I'm always ready to fight for my love, no matter the cost. You're sick. Just let go, man. Please, can we tell us about any more bloodshed? Sorry, baby, Barbie doll. You free can run if you want, but this pervert is going down. Yeah, he seems unreasonable. Let's just finish this the classical way. Lending a hand, eh? You losers, you're not taking my one true love away from me. Robot. I'll have to deal with two different threats. Speed up. Hmm. Who should I kill first? Yeah, I should try let's try taking care of the robot first. Normal attack, because that's what you're weak to. Oh, what the hell? I need to use Protector now, holy crap. Any of, are any of these hexes worth using? Okay, I guess just Tetra and Sharky then. Damn, this guy's fast. Possibly faster than Klein. Him. I need to use infusion. Die, robot. Inspire.
Tetra. Failed. Good. Now die. Aura. Shockwave. Should've done that earlier. So it would be more efficient. I'm gonna play it safe and just use a first aid kit. Shields to zero. Row. Charge swing. And throw again. Dead. Level up everyone. <laughs> Ugh, no. It's cough. Not over yet. More robots! I won't let you get away with my wife. Stop, uh, stop calling me your wife. The last thing I want is getting married to a buffoon like you. Cough. Eh <laughs> heh. I don't know who you guys are, but thanks and goodbye. What? No! Where's she going? I guys think we should, we should also flee. I agree, we can't keep on fighting these things. We'll get exhausted. Let's go. Seeing if Veronica just ran and left. Yes, I can feel her just trust towards us. I do understand why she must feel that way, but sigh. Still, you're right. Growing up in Cardell leaves you distrustful of everyone. If anything, she did the right thing for herself. I still wish to check up on her and see if she's fine now. And you're not doing the right thing for yourself if you do that, Elamine. But Klein. Sazir is also in favor of making sure she's alright. Well, who am I to stop you, Elamine? Where do you think Veronica went, Tessa? Knowing her, she's probably back home already. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to check up on her. I I think her only option is to flee the planet at this point. Otherwise, the space pirates will keep going after her. We can pay her a visit. I'll do the explaining. We appreciate that, Tessa. Okay, then. Tessa, what are you doing here? I'm here to explain. Yeah? Come in, guys. What? I guess you already met them. Yeah, but why do you think I should trust them, Tessa? Ugh. Because I ask for help everywhere, no one bar listening to me except for them. It's a pleasure to meet you, Veronica. I am Elamine, and these are my friends, Klein and Zazir. We just wanted to check if you're okay now. N now we know you're safe, we can leave now. Let's continue with our path, Klein, Zazir. Wait! Yes? What could a couple of errands of the dragon alien thingy possibly want of our planet? You also not look like simple folk. Your dress, which is beautiful by the way, looks pretty expensive. Then it's only fair we trust you if we wish to earn yours. Elamine, you shouldn't. Please, you trust me with this, Klein. You already told her your first name anyway, so will figure it out any uh, somehow. I'm gonna need your trust as well, Zazir. Veronica, my full name is Elamine Rave. I am the daughter of the High King Arturo Rave. What? Okay, for love of my Chamber of Secrets, can someone fill me in? Why are you an Erin Royal Child running around Cardell of all places? Also, why would you free bar helping me? You barely even know me. I also heard one. Like, this is too much for me to swallow. So your family and your people are currently in the galactic feud of Sector 1. Now you're searching for Moldavite stones here in Cordell in order to re receive help from the Gradians and uh, improving your family's innocence? Meanwhile, the High King is in prison and you're being hunted down. Yes. What a unique bunch. I suppose I owe you some thanks then. Thanks. It was the right thing to do, Veronica. Veronica, do you know where we can find some Moldavites here in Cordell? Well, I have a box of fabulous Moldavite stones given to me by that perv Sharky as his wedding gift. You can have it. Really? That's wonderful, Veronica. Thank you so much. I just want to get even. Things are, gonna, uh, uh, things are going pretty well, aren't they? Indeed. Tessa, thanks for help asking you around for help when I was in trouble. I'm just glad you're safe, Veronica. Of course, did I worry too, you too much, Tessa? Not really. I just needed my paper to night shift. Uh, go over, Tessa. 
Here's her salary. And we're also adding some extra for your efforts. Sweet. So you're gonna be fine here. Yes, you can go home now. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna have to treat these strange creatures on my doorstep with some dinner. They piqued my interest. Okay. Well, I heard that Aaron's only eat veggies. I hope you'll like my potato salad. I'm not sure what Cesar eats, though. He's fine with green goods. Thank you very much, Veronica. Go make yourself swell, then. Cozy place you got here, by the way. Why, well, thank you. My mom and I are the only ones that live here. Your mother, where is she, Veronica? Upstairs. I suggest t against talking to her. We're listening. Oh, it's a long story. But if you're really that curious, you should probably go speak with her yourself. Anyway, here's a box of mold like stones, I promise you. Wow, they look so... Mysterious. Savor the view, darling. I wonder what the Gradients plan to do with these stones. Knowing the Gradients, they're probably going to use it to make another advanced tech that they can sell to the Draconians. Like, obviously. So, uh, also, it's getting dark. You guys should stay here for the night, Wink. Thank you very much for your kind offer, Veronica. Yeah, but we, we'll be leaving for work first thing in the morning. Very well. Oh, right on the spot, type, eh? Oh dear. Do you make yourselves at home? There's some foods and drinks inside the machine. You think about taking them, but realize this place isn't your home and you must practice some manners. Or we could just buy some... Uh, 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 some foods from there. Oh dear, I'm at a loss for Veronica. You know what's even more shocking, Princess? The one time I accidentally animated the corpse of my ex-boyfriend's burnt body. Enjoying the aquarium, huh? Book of the Occult opened at page 543, Lore of the Undying Sorceress. Bloody Skull! Hmm. Oh, I didn't expect to have a customer so soon. Looks like Lysandra. Huh? Take off your clothes, I'll be on top of you in a minute. What? What's the matter, boy? Something Is, is this, this some uncle's birthday present for his virgin nephew? Do you prefer the lights on or off? Do you want any, any music while you do or not? Come on, boy, make your mind. You're Veronica's mother. Oh. So you're just another one of Veronica's suitors, huh? Not a customer. Er... No and no. Why don't you just leave that? Sorry. I mean business, so you don't have the eye on. You better get out. Huh? That's it? It's hoping for lore. I'm always thinking about Fire and Big Brother. Are they safe? I cannot imagine the pain that they'll have to endure once they know what happened to my mother. Yeah, I like fishes too. Clang, why do you look like you've seen a, just seen a ghost? Let me guess, you just met my mom, right? I just need some sleep. We have a guest room upstairs. Good for two. Since there's three of you, you can always... Hmm. Sleep next to me, wink. You're king, right? Yes, I am. You and the Zazir can have a guest room. Sugar Princess and I are going to be having a slumber party. Wait. You actually believe I'm that easy, didn't you? Well, if you want a shot at these buns, you better work harder, darling. Wink. I have no comment. I hope we can find some psychological horror movies around here somewhere. You're right, Zazir. There's already a psychological horror having in the room next to us. Oh yes, just let it happen. This is so worth the eye on. Is your mother okay, Veronica? I keep hearing strange noises coming from inside her room. I still feel... weird. Yeah, I don't mind her. She's just having an important business meeting with someone. If that's the case, then she must be very hardworking. That's very true. So, Barbie doll, it's no secret that you've already met Prince Chad. Tell me, what was he like in person? I've only seen him on television. On, on TV. Is he dumb, but in a hot way? Chad? He's a very good person. It was strange. Because during the times that we were together, I didn't get overwhelmed by the people's energies around us as the engagement. It's like... Being around him made me feel safer and in control of the energies and emotions I absorb all around me. Oh, hot stuff. So all that aside, is he really that handsome in person? He is. Yes. Hey, why are you turning red? Veronica. Heh. Ahem. What's with the frown all of a sudden? I still worry about my family and their people. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Sorry. It's okay, Veronica. You managed to cheer me up a bit, and that means a lot. Thank you. Always a pleasure, darling. Meanwhile... Cosmic Cube. 
Prison? Wait, what? There's more people in prison? Oh no, it's Arturo. He's got the fancy cell and with a fancy toilet. I haven't been hearing anything from the council for days. What's going on here? More importantly, I still don't have any news about my family. I've been isolated in here since day one. Not to mention that there's an, there are anti site devices all over my cell. Where are they really planning? Has Rakia manipulated the Galactic Council as well? So, Adjudicator is a woman of honor. I don't think she'll ever conspire with the Draconians, which means she's probably gonna get killed first. Killed and replaced with someone more uh, more in line with the Draconians. Well, some council members are indeed conspiring with Rakia. This is madness. Huh? Rakia. How do you feel? Fair, Arturo. I hope you're enjoying the green goods our men are serving you here. They're unlike any other. Even Orion's vegetable vegetation pales in comparison. What do you want? You've already been held accountable for your crimes. Now you're in custody, there's still nobody here to present evidence of your innocence. The one-week deadline, understandable, but two weeks. I'm also here to inform you that the Council has decided upon trans uh, 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 decided to transfer you to Neredia. Oh no, they're gonna turn him into a mutant! What? Let me speak to the Council. I deserve to know the reasons for from adjudicator herself. The reasons, Arturo, are for security. Many errands have already started scheming against us here in the Cosmic Cube. It's one of the best that we act first before any criminal mind starts thinking. Rakia, enough of your lies in the seat. What are you planning to do to my people? What do you hope to accomplish? Take out the prisoner at once. Yes, sir. Take him to the shawl. We're heading to Neredia. He's gonna become a boss, isn't he? He's gonna become a mutant Arturo. Lumina, Elamine, Eren, my family, you're my, the only hope of Sector 4 now. Z. Some pie, please. Z. She's fast asleep already. Isn't that cute? Sleep talking about pie. Z. Give it to me, Earl. Shoot you in the head. Z. Okay? Don't shoot the ship controls, though. I think Elming was at Planet Orion when that vision showed up. You're gonna be too late! I wish I could get more visions of her so I can easily find her. Well, I guess searching in Orion should be worth a try. Pancakes! Whoa! Oh, meow. You're gonna run out of solar batteries at this rate, aren't you? First you wanted to shoot someone over a pie, now pancakes terrify you. It's not that I'm terrified, I just don't like pancakes. How would someone not like pancakes? Man! Hey, respect my preferences, chatty! Don't get me wrong, there's something bad about not wanting pancakes, I'm just surprised. Almost every person in Ishtar is obsessed with pancakes or breakfast. What is Ishtar like, Chatty? I've never been there. It's a really cool planet with lots of fun places you can visit. Like? Huge malls, net cafes have almost every game in the galaxy installed, big games where you could play all the sports anytime you want, and some cool theme parks. Wow. It's pretty cool. Thing is, though, most adults are very busy with politics nowadays. Oh. My parents are one of those adults. And the worst part is, they have no idea how evil the Draconians are. I hate those Draconians now, they're always very selfish and greedy. Tell me about it. Count Rakia already rules over Sector 1, and it still isn't enough for him. Well, so much for that, we're nearing Orion. Sweet. Are the Draconians really just an always chaotic evil type of race? Or, in this case, always lawful evil? Huh. What's wrong? Why are there so many shells to play around the range, Hattie? I mean, can you zoom in on Scanner, Zilla? Sure. You're gonna get captured again? How many times has it been? Wait, is that? Galactic Enforcers, and they're accompanied by Draconians. This is bad. If they have already taken hold of Orion, then Elamine's family has already left this place or are captured. What if they were captured? I must help them. Captured? I don't think so, Chatty Meow. What do you mean? Don't you have a G phone with you? I forgot to bring it with me. Well, why? Here is the recent post on Space Pool social media. This just in the criminal dollar of Arturo has been spotted in Cardell. Lock your homes and report any strange activities and sightings that you encounter. They're in Cardell? Whew, at least they're safe, but we're almost out of gas. I don't think we have enough to reach Cardell. What do you do? Hijack a shell from the enforcers? No problem, Chatty. Do we still have a few uh, uh, to get a Vismal? Meow. Well, just as the Vismal is more tolerable compared to Cardell, maybe we can manage. And let's get a Vismal and have the shell filled. I'll take care of it, Meow. Awesome, let's get a Vismal and fast. We can't afford to lose any more time, considering that the whole galaxy knows where Elamine's family is. Yep, to Vismal, Meow. So I wish that we could explore more outside our home planet.
We're almost there. I can see that. Wow, never thought it, 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 it would be a lot greener than this, Char. You haven't seen anything yet, Chetty. So where do we stop, Sola? Just a little further. My home is at the capital village of Hayden on the northern regions of Ismail. Cool. Well, we just ran out of gas. We can land the shell somewhere around here. And walk all the way to Hayden. Exactly, meow. So we can't just leave our shell away out in the wilds. Don't be silly. Nobody's going to touch the shell here. If you say so. Of course, I know my planet more than you do, okay, meow? We can always steal a different shell if uh, worst comes to worst. Gotcha. Here we go. Planet of Ismail. Out in the wilds. The wilds. Yep, that's what they call it. Oh boy. We're here. Nice. Is there anything I should know about the wildlife around here, Sola? Just like any wildlife, there are dangerous snakes, ghosts, and unattended AIs all around. Ghosts? But we don't have any... Do we have any tech options? I think we do, at least for Sola. You're telling me we shouldn't worry about our shell. Absolutely, meow. Sai. I am amazed by the place, though. I've always wanted to visit Vizmel. You'll see even more prettier things once we get to Hayden. Let's go. If you say so. Yeah, roaming bullets is my only real option here, and solar laser. Those are my only real options against the ghost types, huh? But I don't have any ether damage. Seriously, having a Chad's got tough. His team is super, uh, super weak compared to Klein's team. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Raveheart by Star Mage. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and/or hit the bell icon.